Hi, Team A and preschool friends. Welcome to Music Time with Anna. Happy New Year! We made it! 2021! Hooray! Celebrate! <laughs> I hope you all had a restful break. I missed you all very much and I hope that you're well. Let's get ready to wave hello and greet one another. Find your hand. Find your hand. Let's put our hands up and we can assist our students in waving to the beat. Here we go. Hands up, 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 up. And one, two, ready, go. Wave, wave, wave hello. Wave hello together. Wave, wave, wave hello. Wave hello together. Hi. Hello. You might have noticed that there are some snowflakes. Snow, some snowflakes on my sweater. They're actually hanging off of my sweater. <laughs> so this is the sign for snow. Snow. We can model our sign language for our students, for those students that are capable of sight. Uh, we can um, provide a tactile experience. And of course, the direction of the snowflakes, of the snow falling down is key. So rather than maybe signing on top of their hand, which we do on a lot of, uh, which we do a lot of the time, um, maybe go from high to low on their body as you uh, flutter your fingers to make the snowflakes. Goes from up high to down low. And then of course the third method for sign language help is um, actually helping to manipulate their fingers and hands. Um, doing some great dexterity work and fine motor skills. Snow! Snow! Snow is cold. <laughs> it's very cold. Snow is cold. Brr. Brr. Right now, it's winter time where we live, where it's cold. Um, sometimes in ASL, in American Sign Language, folks use the sign for cold to mean winter. It's one of those things, it's kind of like a, a context. It depends on the context. Um, if it's unclear and you really wanna be specific about signing winter, there's uh, one way to do that is to make the letter W with your hands um, and then do the same motion for cold. Winter, winter, it's winter where it's cold, and we hope, at least I hope, for snow. Snow. I have a song for you about the winter and the snow. So first, let's enjoy, uh, not ASL specific, I'll throw in some ASL, but some just gestures. Uh, to this little song that's been adapted to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So it's a melody that you all already know. First we reach up high. Up, 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 up. I won't reach really high because then you won't be able to see my hands. <laughs> so reach as high as your kiddo can go. Up high. Up, 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 up. Way up high in the winter sky, two little snowflakes caught my eye. Two or two. Two little snowflakes caught my eye. Then we'll go up high again for the next part and make our way down. Down to the ground, they fell without a sound. And before very long, it was snowing all around. Down to the ground, they fell without a sound. 
And before very long, it was snowing all around. Hooray! Yay, friends! Let's try that approach again with our gestures, with a few of those signs. But first, let's just do some high and low exploration. Using, um, using our bodies to reinforce the sounds that we're hearing in music is really helpful. For example, making a high sound with your voice and putting the body position up high. Again, either using yourself as a model for them to watch or helping them feel their body in space up high. Up, 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 up high, up high. You can even make snowflake fingers if you like. Down, 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 down low. On your child's body, since they're not um, encumbered by the, <laughs> uh, by the video camera like I am, you can go way down low all the way to their toes, but I'm just gonna keep my hands in the frame. <laughs> down low, down, 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 down low. Up high, up high, down. Down, 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 down low. Down low by your toes. Ooh. Those are some neat sounds. Um, that reminds me to mention when you are perhaps exploring your voice adults, uh, particularly with that high to low, we call that a glissando, that sort of siren sound. Either moving up and down. Anyway, um, something that can be really fun to explore with your kiddo is placing their hand on your voice box while you make that sound. Let's try that. That's pretty neat. And I'll continue just to model high and low with my hand. Up high. Ooh. And you can do it humming. Um, if you're in a space where you can't be very loud, <laughs> then uh, feel free to keep it a little bit quieter. Don't feel like you have to sing opera. Anyways. Um, anytime it occurs to you when you're enjoying singing and vocalizing with your child, that vibration can be really neat and it might encourage them to use their voice. I have been um, just getting sidetracked from our song. There's always so many things to explore. So let's get back to that song. Let's do it again. More. Let's do it again. So we start up high. Way up high in the winter sky, two little snowflakes caught my eye. Where's your eye? Eye. Down to the ground they fell without a sound. And before very long, it was snowing all around. Down to the ground, they fell without a sound. And before very long, it was snowing all around. Rest. Hey, well done. What a fun one. Okay, are you ready to explore the song in a different way? We're going to find our ears. Our ears are for listening. Where are your ears? There's my ears. Listening to the music. So now I'll bring out my xylophone. Or Sorry, it's not a xylophone. You've, we've learned this already. This is called a glockenspiel. Oh, such a fun word. Glockenspiel. The difference between a glockenspiel and a xylophone is the glockenspiel is made of metal, where the xylophone is made from wood. Now 
Now let's just tap that steady pulse along with the glockenspiel while we listen with our ears to the music. Way up high in the winter sky, two little snowflakes caught my eye. Down to the ground they fell without a sound. And before very long it was snowing all around. Down to the ground they fell without a sound. Before very long it was snowing all around. Just a nice way to reinforce the pitches of the music. The glockenspiel has such a clear tone, <laughs> bell-like tone. And let's sing it one more time, one more time. And this time it's your choice. If you wanna go back to those gestures and signs and motions, that's great. If you wanna continue tapping on your child's body to the pulse, then that's great as well. Oh, one, two, one, two. Ready, go. Way up high in the winter sky, two little snowflakes caught my eye. Down to the ground they fell without a sound. Before very long it was snowing all around. Down to the ground they fell without a sound. And before very long, it was snowing all around. Rest. Yay, bravo. Yay for our snow. Snow is so cold, brr. Snow is so cold. And do you remember the sign for winter? Get your W's. Winter. In the winter, it's cold. And sometimes we see the snow. Hooray! Yay, everyone! Welcome back to school. Welcome to a new year. I'm so excited to explore so much more music with you throughout the rest of the year. Hooray! Now we'll go ahead and wrap things up and get ready to wave goodbye. So find your hand again. Ready, hands? Hands up, 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 up. We'll wave to the beat. One, two, ready, go. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye together. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for the music. Take good care. I'll see you soon.